So they say he was juggling the ball. And what Butch Davis is saying right now is we ran another play. And like I said, in the history of replay, Gus, once another play has been run, I have never seen them go back and say we're, re we're replaying another play. And I mean, this is, this is serious stuff here in Cleveland. This is a playoff spot potentially on the line. And it's getting ugly here in Cleveland. And it's getting ugly here fast. So Jacksonville will take the football back at the 10-yard line. Because of this, they say this is an incomplete pass. Boy, I don't know. He had those two feet down. Then you see the ball coming out. But what the fans are upset with is the Browns were able to get to the line of scrimmage and run another play. But then the officials went back two plays and made the ruling. They said that there was a malfunction with the communication system between the replay officials in the booth and the officials on the field. And we had... And here was the play. They snapped it before the referees or the officials were able to stop the game. And we were talking about the potential grounding call, but the Jags were talking about the play prior. And the rules are pretty specific. Once another play is run, it can't be reviewed. And so they were talking about the malfunction in the system. That's what the replay booth has called and told us. But we don't make the rules. And bottles have been thrown on the field. And that's one thing that we haven't had since replay has come back. We haven't had that situation, Gus, where another play has been run and we've gone back. Fortunately, those bottles are plastic. But these Cleveland fans are irate. And they're trying to clear the end zone. Yeah, well, the Cleveland fans aren't helping any right now by throwing stuff on the field. They got no better than that. And it's frustrating. The players are frustrating as well. And the players are sitting on the sideline looking around days trying to figure out how this happened. And we and put never, Davis still arguing his case. And we've just never seen that. Once the play is run, it's all over. And you see teams before try to get up to the line of scrimmage and run another play so they can get beyond the review if they feel it's going to go against them. So, well, the, what the, the officials need to do is they need to get on the PA and get control of this game and get control of the fans. They're letting it get out of control because they're not communicating what's going on. Take some control down there and get this situation going. Let us know why and what happened. Talk about the other play being run off because that is an unusual situation. You've got to let everybody know why this is happening because just like up here in the booth, nobody has any idea what's going on because they're not telling us. wins hoping to keep their playoff hopes alive needing a win today over Jacksonville well the one thing you got to do if you're the officials right now if, if the ball is indeed Jacksonville then just call the game and get these guys off the field it's not worth somebody getting hurt if the fans are going to throw crap on the field take control and get the players off the field because this is this is ridiculous just get rid of the so let's take a look back Tim Couch, here he is, watch the referee in the left part of the frame, 
Not and that referee is not blowing anything yep. dead until after the ball was spiked. And now they're going to call that the game. That is the end of the game. Unbelievable. Now they call the game. Well, that was With the right 48 call. 48 seconds to go. Yeah, you got to take... I think punch. that... I think this has been... Just a fiasco by the referees today. Well, that was the right call. you got to end the game. The fans are throwing crap on Especially the field. Especially when you consider how big of a game this was for the Cleveland Browns. This is ridiculous. Well, I'll be anxious to hear the official explanation of the way that replay situation came down because once another play is run, you can't go back. And Jeez, these officials that's... really need to get off the field. And you know what? The fans got to stop throwing crap. We just saw a guy get hit in the head, and he's down, split his head wide open. The fans have got to control themselves. People are getting hurt. It's ridiculous. You're only hurting yourselves by throwing stuff on the field. And the officials are pummeled okay. as they head into the locker room, and Butch Davis is speechless. He doesn't know what to say or what to do.